This is a demo of clientless Netscope private access. So our ZTNA or Netscope private access solution now supports scenarios like unmanaged devices that need access to internal or private app resources and you don't have a Netscope client present on, on a managed device. Now, clientless MPA leverages a reverse proxy SAML configuration that is integrated with identity providers. And in the case of today's demo, that is Okta. So that's the first starting point here is we have a configuration in the Netscope console here uh, for reverse proxy uh, SAML. And a couple of things to point out here. The first is we have the, the base uh, configuration. Uh, unlike SAS, we're not specifying an application here. Uh, we're simply specifying uh, the IDP SSO uh, URL and the certificate to use. And then when we go to the uh, Netscope settings that we're going to also configure on the Okta side, uh, here's the uh, URLs that we're going to want to grab from uh, that configuration. So as straightforward as that. Now let's go ahead and see uh, what this looks like in action. Now the, the next step of the configuration is uh, we're going to go ahead and create um, app uh, definitions. And this is for the private applications. Now we also have the Netscope Advanced Analytics Dashboard, which will go ahead and discover applications uh, in your environment that you can bring in. Uh, but what we've done is we've already configured a private application, which is called Mantis. And this application is effectively uh, for bug tracking, tracking, et cetera. And what I'm going to do is I simply add the host and the port and assign a publisher. In this case, I have one publisher assigned. I can obviously assign multiple uh, publishers. So if we want to do failover or active-active configuration, we can do that. But in this case, uh, we have this publisher assigned. So now that we have that, the, the last step here is let's do a policy to grant access uh, to that uh, private app resource. So here I'm going into our unified policy engine uh, that we also have for, for CASV, for Cloud Firewall, um, and uh, for Secure Web Gateway, and for Netscope Private Access, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start with uh, the user identity. Um, we can bring in a user group. Again, I'm integrated with Okta, so we can identify specific uh, a group if we want. I'm going to say Adele. What we're going to say is for this private application, which is the Mantis app, uh, we're going to allow that. So uh, that's all we're going to do in this particular case. Let's go ahead and see the results of that. So in order to do this, I'm on a machine where I do not have Netscope enabled. So think of this as an unmanaged device. Um, I've gone in incognito nodes, so there's no you know, cache cookies or, or any of that, of, of that fun stuff. And what I'm going to do is I want to access this Mantis application. So here starts uh, the workflow, if you will. Uh, the user first authenticates to our clientless MPA server via SSO. Uh, once they're authenticated, we issue the user a cookie for a domain. The domain actually is generated based on the app config. Uh, and then from there, um, there's also the user authentication to the app. And for that, uh, think of us as just an encrypted tunnel between the browser and the application. The app can use SAML, uh, any any type of authentication uh, that's not something that we uh, that we uh, disrupt, if you will. So I'm I'm being asked here to uh, connect in, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect in as this user. Bank.net and okay. So now we are basically have a zero trust end-to-end -end encrypted session that is taking place between the browser and the private application. And I did all of this without having a Netscope client uh, local. And I can further just do uh, my login uh, to this uh, application if I wish, but I'm effectively already uh, in, if you will. And there I'm into the application very fast, very secure. And again, this is a clientless uh, configuration. And that's all for the demo. I hope uh, this uh, gives you an example of how Netscope can address the very important use case of unmanaged devices accessing internal and private app resources.